there is another theorem centralizer of a group G is a subgroup of G in the similar way that we have proved previously normalizer is a subgroup here we will prove that centralizer is a subgroup the similar method we will follow uh, what is the method we will take two elements let a comma b are two elements of centralizer of x in g these are two elements of centralizer of x in g then by the definition uh, ax is equal to xa for all a belong to g also bx is equal to xb for all b belong to g okay. since g is a group if g is a group and b is an element of g then since we can write g is group and b is an element which belong to g this implies b inverse is also an element which belong to g then by definition b inverse x okay b inverse x is equal to x b inverse okay now here consider consider a b inverse x and we know that a b inverse x is equal to x b inverse x b inverse and you know a x is equal to x a x a b inverse a b inverse x is equal to x a b inverse from here a b inverse x and a b inverse x this implies that this a b inverse is also the element of centralizer of x in g so any element which is of this type belong to any set that set will be a group okay so this is a group this implies send subgroup sorry centralizer of x in g is a subgroup this is a subgroup okay so i will meet you in the next lecture